Hi, today we're going to be looking at the Catamage Objective Tool. So what we're going to do in this first getting started video is to show you how we can manipulate some objects um, using the split and rotate commands um, and why that's useful using Objective. So first of all, I'll go and place an object. Now this is just a normal object that I've downloaded from BIM Components directly in the object settings here. I've just embedded this in the project. Uh, it is one that we <laughs> happen to make, uh, but it's uh, completely free and um, and is not specially designed to work with Objective or anything. So I'm going to place this down. And you can see in 3D we've got this nice car model. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. So we just select the object that we want to rotate. Go to the can image menu and go to Objective rotate. Choose the rotation axis and then set the angle of rotation. So I'm going to set it to around about 45 degrees. And now you can see in our floor plan view uh, it's showing the rotated object and now if I go to 3D you'll see it's also been rotated there. Now if you want to rotate uh, in other directions, you can do that as well. So if I just go back to where it was and, and go into Elevation View instead, I can do the same thing. Select my Object, Cat Image, Objective, Rotate, set the axis and the angle. And the object is rotated. And you can see in 3D that it has reflected that in 3D as well. And our floor plan view now shows the rotated view as well. So that's nice and easy to rotate. Um, you obviously, you can already do this in ARCHICAD by um, some objects allow you to rotate them. Um, and in other cases, you can convert to a morph and then rotate those. What's really handy about Objective is that even though this car is rotated, it is still the car object that I used before. So if I jump into its settings, you can see all of the settings that we had before we rotated it are still there. So it will still work. Um, we can come in here and we can change, change the color to whatever we want. And because it's still a fully parametric 3D object, that gets changed while the rotation is still applied. So it's still exactly what it was before, it's just been rotated. So that's rotating. Now I'm just going to reset the car back to how it was before we started. And now I'll show you the split command. So again, select the object, go to the cat image menu, objective, and choose split. And then we just draw a line to show where we want to split through. Click on the side that we want to remain selected after we've split. And then wait a second or two. And we're done. As you can see, it looks much the same as it did before, only we've got a split line on it. And it's now two separate objects. So if we jump into 3D again, you can see that it's still the 3D car object that it was before, but now it's in two pieces. So we can grab one of these and move them away. And you can see still all exactly the same as it was, but it's now in two. And again, similarly to the split tool, everything is still intact. So we can come in here and change any of these parameters. and our newly split object will reflect those parameters. Now, because it's two separate objects, of course, changing this one to yellow has left that one the way it was. So this is really, really handy again. You could do the same thing using a morph tool, but as soon as you did that, your objects would turn into big blobs of morph, um, and you wouldn't be able to manipulate these individual parameters. Great thing about Objective, everything's still editable. And the last thing I want to show you for this getting started video is just uh, undoing the damage that it was done. So 
now that we've got our object in two pieces, uh, if we decide we want to undo that and get them back to the way we were, they were before, just select your split object, click on cat image objective and use the command to remove cuts. And as soon as you do that, you'll see the object returns to its original full state. Of course, because we had two objects after doing the split, um, the other half of the split is still there. You can run the same command on that. And it will turn into a full version of itself, but it will still have the changes that we made to the parameters. So that's the basics of the split and rotate commands in Objective. There's obviously a lot more to Objective, which we'll cover in later videos. But for now, this should give you a good idea of the kinds of manipulations you can do just using Objective straight out of the box. Thanks for watching.